am very positive that many of you watching this short 40 second intro have already anticipated a favorite character to appear on screen. This one short clip reminds us of our childhood um, memories of our favorite princess or an animated character. It is so astonishing to me how one individual has set a dream for himself but yet has made so many come true. From a great dreamer, Walt Disney has become an iconic leader whose legacy can be carried on with pride and honor. His famous quote, all of our dreams will come true if we have the courage to pursue them, is the one that inspires every young and nature dreamer to keep believing and keep dreaming because one day that dream will become a reality. In his early life, Walter Elias Disney was born on December 5, 1901, born in Chicago, Illinois. At four years old, he moved to Missouri with his four other siblings and his parents. He attended the Kansas City Art Institute and Chicago Academy of Fine Arts, where he did become a cartoonist for the newspaper. For his career move, at 18 years old, he got his first illustration job, but it was short-lived as his desire to assist in World War I was necessary. He joined the Red Cross and became an ambulance driver, although his dream of an illustrator did not die as he decided to cartoon all over his ambulance vehicle. When he returned from the war, he immediately decided that he had to move to Hollywood, as that's where his career would prosper. And finally, in 1922, Three, Walt has moved to Hollywood and he developed the Disney Brothers Studio. And then finally, he released his first cartoon debuts, including Alice in Wonderland. And then his career launched on May 1928 when the debut of Steam Whistle Boat Willie, in which the illustration of Mickey Mouse appeared on screen. When Disney referred to the beginning of his success, he states that it all started with a mouse. Perfect. And from a dreamer to a leader. Walt Disney possessed five major qualities that made him a leader. He had a vision, he became an animated leader, he was a salesman, as well as it was important for him to build partnerships and, most importantly, serve others. To have a vision, Walt Disney believed that the stepping stone to leadership was the ability to dream. He had a desire to have a vision and make it something more than just a dream. As a leader, he demonstrated courage while achieving his dream and not stopping until those dreams became a reality. He believed that consistency in his beliefs, core values, and integrity was what led to his success. To become an animated leader, motivation and empowerment, something that we talked about in class, was an important concept to be a leader. Walt Disney was a successful leader. He valued his employees and engagement and opinion. Every animated feature that was presented prior to going on screen was shown to Walt's team who could give their feedback and maximize their creativity. He motivated his people by making them engaged with the work and they felt empowered to continue thriving within his team. Being a salesman was just as important to being a leader. To make his dream come true, Walt needed to sell ultimate dream as required. it required people, money, and resources. Honesty, enthusiasm, confidence, courage, persistence are the five main characteristics of salesmen that Walt Disney has possessed. Honesty, he had the honesty and integrity to build people's trust. Enthusiasm allowed him to sell his products and encourage others and made his employees become overachievers in selling his products. Confidence, being the leader that instills confidence in your employees, not just himself. Walt's famous quote says, it takes people to make the dream a reality. And it was very true in his case. Courage, be yourself and don't let anything or anyone stop you from living your dream. And persistence, be determined and leave no room for rejection or criticism. Building partnerships, which is one of the most important characteristics of Walt Disney. It allowed Walt to give creativity, content, and collaborate with his team. And in return, he received their respect, loyalty, and consistent support. Last but not least is serving others. Disney played a collaborative role amongst his people. He focused on serving others before himself. He served his people in countless ways. And just to name a few, he helped his disabled friends see the parks, wheeling on the red carpet, front row seats to every show. And he also became a fatherly figure for his secretary when he was walking her down the aisle to be getting married. He stood for what was right, and that's what gave him the respect. Walt was not just a leader, but he was a servant and a defender. Unfortunately, the amazing creator, innovator, dreamer, and leader passed away on December 15th from lung cancer in 1966, but his legacy will carry on forever. Walt Disney will always inspire us to live our lives and become the best leaders that we can be. So I'll leave you with this. First think, second dare, third believe, and finally dare. Thank you for listening, and I hope you enjoyed my leader presentation about Walt Disney.